Hello, it's Brony Review, and in this episode, I'm talking about the number 14. And you're wondering, why am I talking about the 14 instead of a movie? I'm talking about a movie 14. The 14 being The Land Before Time Journey of the Brave. The 14th entry. Probably Universal has finally decided to stop their hiatus. They were on a long hiatus after the big disappointment, which was the wisdom of friends. So, how were they going to do the 14th one without being an apology movie? So, I wonder how they do that. Let's think about it. So, oh, how are we going to make this movie to please the fans after we disappointed them with number 13? Oh, I have a brilliant idea. Let me whisper it to you. Let's give it a shot. I like it. Come on. Yeah, it sounded like a good idea. And they kept it secret, I think. It would be a surprise. Until Universal said that they'll be releasing it with the four, the 1440 collection. It's Universal's direct to video unit. They made some other stuff like bringing back Beethoven and Curious George direct to video movies. They're trying to bring direct to video movies back to life. Can't you believe that? So, what's the Land Before Time Journey of the Brave about? Well, let me explain it to you. It's all about Littlefoot trying to find his dad. And that sounds really nice. And how did this movie turn out? Was it a pure disappointment like a 13th? Or did it brighten up this time? Let's figure it out. So, the movie opens up with the Universal logo, as usual. With the, the free from the previous logo. Really? Universal? You couldn't have used your old theme? So then... We have the usual narration stuff and blah blah blah. So then they sing a song about what they're gonna do today. Littlefoot sings that he's gonna meet his dad, Ducky and Spike. Well, Spike doesn't usually talk, but they sing about how they're gonna meet their new brothers. Then Petrie's excited about spring, and Sarah, this kinda sounds useless. Pushing a rock. Huh? Well, that's awkward. But everything changes when... When Littlefoot meets up with the long necks and some guy, some creature named Wild Eyes, tells him about the horrible accident that happened and Littlefoot is... Surprise, so what he does, he, he and his friends unite together and go on an epic adventure. We have the usual Land Before Time cliches too, like where you have songs, perilous activity, and meets a new character. And the, the one they meet is Etta, who's Reba McIntyre, and let me tell you, she's the best new character in the movie, hands down. She also sings a song called Look for the Light, which is also the best song in the movie. It's so good. And feels like Universal has decided to forgive them and put out this movie. And I was certainly pleased by it. It. I like the animation and some of the new actors, like they got Felix to play Littlefoot, and 
some other kids, but but the other actors who play Sarah, Ducky, Petrie, and Spike, they're all back. And some stuff has changed too. Like they recast the grandpa and the narrator. And here's one of the negatives. This once some of the songs can be a little bit annoying, like the Sarah part of today is the day and some and hot and stinky. It's but all the other songs are alright. But as I said, the best song is Look for the Light. It's a pure masterpiece in Land Before Time sequel standards. And so Land Before Time, Journey of the Brave, the best Land Before Time sequel yet. So on a scale of one to ten, this movie gets eight out of ten. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for an upcoming review, and I'll see you next time.